Yo, what's up, guys? This is Chinzo. I'm gonna be taking my first stab at customizing this new Imtech neck knife that I just picked up. Let's quick look at the blade. It's a looks like a stonewashed Tanto. I'm not sure what the handle is made out of, but it's kind of sticky and grippy, and it feels pretty good. Here's the sheath. I believe to be a hard plastic. All right, so I'm starting out with the sheath first using Rust-Oleum Spray-On Primer. I do two coats each side, allowing enough time in between for it to dry. Before I flip it over, I'm going to make sure it's dry to the touch. And I just got this little Ryobi shop fan to help me out with that. Alright, so once the primer is dried, I'm going in with two coats of gloss black Rust-Oleum. I'm going to do two coats each side and allow it to dry. Once that's all dried, I'm going in with an Uni Pasca white fine tip paint marker. I'm just going to roughly sketch out the overall shape. And I'm going to do a few layers to kind of get the right saturation. And you'll also see me working back and forth between a white marker and a black to clean up those edges. So now I'm just using some white gloss Rust-Oleum spray paint to add the splash and splatter effect. I'm just going to spray some to my fingertip with my gloves on and I'm going to flick a little bit to get rid of the excess and then kind of just splash around, kind of just see what looks good. There's a little splash technique which gives you more of a spray and then there's kind of a waving technique that I use to get more of those long stringy splatters but on this one you kind of just have to feel it out with an uni pasca extra fine tip white marker i'm going to add some details and just do some touch-ups before we go to resin i'm using art resin for the clear coat on this just mixing it up and i got them balanced on a couple of little medicine cups and i'm using a paintbrush to kind of even it out with this the main thing is making sure that you don't get too many drips on the underside because they can be kind of hard to work with when you flip it over and resin the other side and i'm just hitting it with a heat gun or a torch to kind of get the bubbles out and then i'm going to cover them with a dust cover and let them sit for about 24 hours secure i've linked my full art resin tutorial video down below in the description and that includes how to build this custom DIY enclosure. I've now covered each side with art resin and allowed about 24 hours in between for them to cure. And this is the final product. The last thing I'm going to do is 
take a cordless drill and one of these drill bits, the 764 bit to be exact, and I'm gonna use it to clear out the holes where the necklace fits through. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please like this video. If you want to keep up with the projects that I've got going on right now and I'll be uploading soon, go ahead and hit subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I am J-O-E underscore Chinzo underscore art. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.